The Children's Hospital Research Institute of Manitoba really was born out of the Children's Hospital here and the Department of Pediatrics, which for many years had a great history of research, uh, many breakthroughs and discoveries. And eventually the foundation was investing in research together with key researchers said, why don't we build a building and more formally bring things under our umbrella? And that's how the Institute came to be. The Research Institute is affiliated with our Children's Hospital here in Manitoba and we do research to try to improve the lives of children by making new discoveries, coming up with new cures and try to understand why some diseases are more common in Manitoba than they are in other places in Canada. Heather Dean recruited me back to Winnipeg so that I could do research in my home province. Heather Dean is the grandmother of type 2 diabetes research in the world and her passion for Indigenous youth, her passion for type 2 diabetes prevention and treatment has engaged the entire province in trying to come up with solutions for this province. There were children who were appearing in our clinic with high blood sugars who did not have the same presentation of type 1 diabetes. And they looked for all the world like an older adult who was obese and sedentary and had a high blood sugar and that to me at the time in the early 80s was type 2 diabetes but these were 10 and 11 year olds how could that possibly be so we started being very careful of documenting the number of children we had with type 2 diabetes and in the early years there were one or two a year and then five or six a year and then suddenly a dozen a year and then 20 a year and now more children with type 2 diabetes than type 1 diabetes Type 2 diabetes is a condition that didn't exist when I was a kid. There were children who lived with diabetes, but they had type 1 diabetes. And since the 1980s, type 2 diabetes has grown dramatically in our province, and we're not really sure why that is. Heather Dean has inspired us to create a research team called DREAM, Diabetes Research Envisioned and Accomplished in Manitoba, where 12 scientists have committed their lives to research that's going to help reduce the burden of type 2 diabetes in youth in this province. The escalation of the number of children has been dramatic, which we have recorded and published on a number of occasions. And we have one of the largest clinics of children with type 2 diabetes in North America. When I first came to Manitoba, what we recognized was that our Indigenous people are really overrepresented in the hospital, and some conditions are way too rampant in our Indigenous youth and type 2 diabetes and obesity are probably the two big leaders. The reason I came back here was to try to address that because this is a Manitoba-made problem and we need Manitoba-made solutions. You really have to take it as a, as a partnership. You have to go in the communities, work with the communities of leaders and families and say, we're here to work together. Any research or knowledge is done in full cooperation, permission. Once you're completing a study, uh, we again work with the communities to understand the results of the studies, to decide what we're going to do at the next phase. One of the things that we really need to focus on in Canada is the strength and the power that Indigenous youth bring to this country. And one of our goals for research is to engage them in every aspect of what we do so that they can come up with solutions that are relevant for their communities. The mentorship to me is to be a great role model to the kids and make healthy lifestyles. We give the kids something to look up to, you know, be role models to them. We do that through uh, sports activities and all that, and then after that with a snack, a healthy snack. I kind of treat them like, if, they, if they're like my family member, you know, like doing all these little things with them, you know, makes you feel good, you know, to know that they look up to you in that way. Maybe they'll do something good, you know, like, you know, be a great athlete when they're older or something more. The research is important for the kids in our community so they can try to build a healthier lifestyle. They can learn healthy lifestyles and hopefully pass that on to their siblings and families. I see a very bright future for the Children's Hospital Research Institute of Manitoba. I think it was founded on a great tradition of, of research and scientific discovery here uh, within the University of Manitoba and the Children's Hospital. We're starting to see these young investigators that were recruited mature and their, their research careers are really blossoming. And now we're starting to see training the future generation. 
We will continue to be focused on the children and families in this province. That continues the support of the foundation, continues the support of the province, and I think success begets success, and that's what we're trying to build on.